The final phase of the celebration, marking the sixth anniversary of the restoration administration of Governor Syriaka Dixon of Bioso State, took off with the arrival of former President Olusha Basanjo in Yanagua on Friday, the 16th of February 2018, through the newly refurbished heliport of the government house Yanagua, where he was received by Governor Syriaka Dixon, his wife, the Deputy Governor, and members of the Bielsa State Executive Council, who were supported by prominent Bielsa men and women, who welcomed former President Olusha Gwabasanjo with music and dancing. <laughs> The first project unveiled by former President Lucia Ngobasanjo was the heliport of the government house, which is to be known henceforth as King Alfred Dieter Spiff Heliport, Yanagua. Former President Ulisha Gwabasanjo began the commissioning of projects executed by Governor Syriaka Dixon in earnest as he proceeded to the ultra modern multi billion Nara Bielsa State Specialist Hospital, located at the Government House in Bielsa State. The hospital provides world class health facilities and services to the indigents of the state and Nigerians in general. Former President Ulisha Gwabasanjo commended Governor Syriaka Dixon for keying into the vision of the late Director General of NAVDAC, Professor Dora Kunyili, with the establishment of the Drug Mat and Distribution Center, noting that the facility will assist in curbing the menace of fake drugs and drug abuse. In the Drug Distribution Center, drugs certified by NAVDAC will be sold in bulk to government and private-owned hospitals. At the Biosa State Diagnostic Center, all kinds of diseases can be diagnosed with world-class equipment. In his remarks, Governor Syriaka Dixon of Bielsa State said, as part of his government's pragmatic intervention in the health sector, his government decided to expand quality health services for the benefit of the average Bielsan. Governor Syriaka Dixon said, the state government decided to name one of the halls of the drug mat and distribution center after Professor Dora Kunyili, as part of efforts to immortalize her great legacies and contributions towards the fight against counterfeit drugs. Governor Syriaka Dixon is determined to turn Bioso State into a health hub through medical tourism that will attract a heavy traffic of people across the world, which will boost the economy of the state. Other projects commissioned by former President Ulisha Gobasanjo were the Drug Distribution Center and the World Class Diagnostic Center. Chief Lucia Gobasanjo commended Governor Syriaka Dixon for investing hugely in the health sector. He said he was highly impressed by the level of commitment demonstrated by Governor Syriaka Dixon in providing world class facilities like cardiovascular, renal, and the stroke center to service the people from within and outside the state and Nigeria. Other projects commissioned by former President Olusha Gwabasanjo include the Glory Land Drive Road at Ibugene, renamed Chief Olusha Gwabasanjo Drive. Former President Olusha Gwabasanjo also visited the Bielsa State Traditional Rulers Council, made up of all the prominent monarchs from all three senatorial districts of the state, at the head of which is King Alfred Dieter Spiff, who is the chairman of the Traditional Rulers Council. He commended the traditional institution for the support it had given to the Dixon administration and Governor Syriaka Dixon for the unprecedented transformation he has brought to Bielsa State in six years. Former President Obasanjo was particularly impressed by the relative peace maintained in the state, which he considered a panacea for development. He praised the transformational strides of the Dixon administration in agriculture, education, health, infrastructure and other sectors with peace security and stability there will be development in all sectors but let me say this 
more importantly, one of the things that have struck me about your administration is the relative peace that you have maintained. I don't know how you have done it. Maybe we should all come to learn under your tutelage because one of the things that we need to do and do well in this country today is the issue of security. Security, peace, and of course, stability. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo also visited the Joe National Academy in Kayama in the Kolukuma Pukuma local government area of Bayelso State where he had an interactive session with the students. In his remarks with the students of the John National Academy, former President Olusha Gobasanja suggested that the young generation should be carried along as far as political leadership of the country is concerned, so that they can be properly groomed. And mind you, whatever you do as you go along in life, it being recorded. And as you develop, people will ask, if you want to become governor tomorrow, they will say when you were in the John National Academy, how did he perform? How will you say you have performed? And you see, he went to Lincoln and he's still there, aren't you? And he's doing well. Tomorrow, it will be brought up on record. When he was in Lincoln, he led his mates. So, what I want to emphasize is that any opportunity you have in your childhood and as you grow up, make the maximum of it. Because tomorrow it may serve you well. And if you don't, tomorrow it may also count against you. Former President Lucia Gorbassanger also visited former President Goodluck Jonathan in his country home, Utweke, in Ogbia local government area of Bielsa State. Accompanied by his host governor, Syriaka Dixon of Bielsa State, his wife, the deputy governor, and others. Former President Olusha Gorbassanjo was at the foundation lane ceremony of the multi billionaire Azikel Refinery Project in Yenagua on Saturday, the 17th of February, 2018. It will be recalled that the license for the Azikel Refinery Project in Bielsa State was signed by President Muhammad Buhari on assumption of office in 2015. The first privately owned refinery in Nigeria, which is 65% completed, is expected to take off next year. According to the president of the group, Dr. Azibai Rani, who was a former commissioner for health under the Jonathan administration in Bielsa State, when completed, the refinery will address the issues of persistent scarcity of refined products with the production of petrol, aviation fuel, kerosene and diesel. The refinery is expected to create hundreds of thousands of jobs in and outside the Niger Delta region. I must say with all terms of clarity that we're extremely grateful to President for finding us worthy for us to be licensed for a 12,000 barrel hydro skimming refinery. The Gesha is in line with the federal government policy to liberalize the petroleum sector by allowing the establishment of private refineries to participate in the downstream sector. The federal government initiative, when fully crystallized, will end fuel scarcity, short supply, I can prize the potential in the country. And most important, we will then be repositioning Nigeria to be a country that will be a net exporter of refined products. In their separate remarks before the ground-breaking ceremony of the multi-billion Nara Azakia refinery project in Yenagua, Bielsa State, Governor Syriaka Dixon and former President Olusegun Obasanjo congratulated the chairman of the refinery, 
Dr. Irani for his foresight in setting up the refinery. I would like to express my, our gratitude to General Buhari, President of the Federal Republic and Commander-in-Chief for granting this license for this refinery. I'd like to thank Your Excellency for making time to come and spend the week with us and to cap it up with this commissioning, or rather with the groundbreaking and uh, foundation stone laying. And we thank God for this day that what we should have done any time since 1956, which we did not do, we now have a shorn of the soil. Now doing it today. I join all of you in thanking President Buhari and his government for giving four more licenses than we gave. And he is lucky that he has a man like Dr. Irwani to be the only one, I hope you will only be the first, that is hopefully some others will follow your uh, footsteps. I want to thank and appreciate the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Obuari, GCFR, who, as we have all been told, found the Azikel group fit and proper to be granted this license and also another license for power generation and which is why we are here. So please a special round of bias applause for the president. Those are the kinds of friendly gestures, brotherly handshakes that we in this state and in this region, always expect. And when they do happen, we appreciate them. So I want to preface my brief remarks by expressing gratitude to the federal government and to say that we need more of this. We need more of this. Before the formal foundation laying ceremony by former President Alicia Gomo Basenjo, the Wonder Boy from Akwaibum State and his group thrilled the audience. Former President Lucia Gobasanjo was later led to the fish pond close to the refinery before he left for Yenagua with his host governor Suryaki Dixon. To formally end his visits to Bielsa State to celebrate six years of the governor Suryaki Dixon administration in the saddle, a grand banquet was organized for him at the Diepria Lamesia Banquet Hall, Yenagua, Bielsa State.
But I'm happy to join my governor to welcome you. And I know the last time you visited the state was 2006. And my governor then was one of the most senior commissioners. He was the Honorable Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice. He joined me to welcome you. Today, as my governor, I'm joining him to welcome you. <laughs> and let me thank my governor for bringing you to the state, especially at this time. Governor, you've done very well, because it's not easy to move people like uh, former President Obasanjo. Let me also congratulate Dr. Erwani for the, L the program we had this morning, the foundation stone laying of the Azike refinery. state has made steady progress and I want to report on behalf of our government that our state is on course and it is our intention in the next two years to consolidate even more in all areas. As you are aware we have one of the best set of public schools now, boarding schools now, public boarding schools. The private schools in this state are now in trouble because now they are not as good as our own schools. Now we have, with the medical facilities that Your Excellency you commissioned, you have seen that in this state we have some of the best public health facilities backed up with an ambitious and successful health insurance program that has registered as at now close to 70,000 and still counting. Our target is to capture about 300,000 by essence under health insurance. On a very serious note, I don't know, there must be something wrong with psych or some Nigerians. And I'm happy that even you this evening, President Jonathan, you say it. This country, Nigeria, belongs to all the 190 million Nigerians who are the citizens of this country as of today. Dr. Rwani, I, I said today you have, you have become a pioneer. You have been a pioneer before, but you continue to be a pioneer. And um, this will open a new uh, phase of development industrialization of uh, Biosa State. <laughs> It is my singular honor and privilege 
here by assistant, by the chairman of the State Council of Traditional Rulers, to present this personalized plan to you. Congratulations, sir. From Biscon Communications, it's six hearty congratulations to Governor Henry Syriaca Dixon of Bios State for his far-reaching transformational strides of governance in the past six years.